We're here in Sherbrooke, Quebec, as we see the elite women's race at the National Cyclocross Championship. Talking with Magalie Rochette from Cliff Bar. Uh, Magalie, um, I'm going to say, a bit of a surprise for us. You came in as defending champion, you came in as the favorite, but uh, second, second today. Yeah, um, I won't lie, I'm super disappointed to be losing the Maple Leaf jersey today, but it was it was a really good battle with, Chris, with Christelle. She was super strong and uh, I, I really did my best. I think um, at some point in the race I got a bit nervous. I'm still, I guess I'm still not mature enough and I, I got a little bit stressed out and I attacked. And I think I went maybe a little bit too hard too early and then I started um, having a hard time and I guess I kind of panicked a little bit and then she caught up to me. I tried to stay with her, finally calm down and uh, tried to caught up, catch up with, to her and uh, she was super strong. There was nothing I can do at that point. But I tried my best and uh, that is what it is. I'm, I'm looking forward to more, more battles with Christelle and uh, yeah. So, I mean, it was obviously it was the two of you right from the start. Uh, did you know going in that she was going to be your uh, your biggest competitor? I would say that before a race, I never count anyone out. I, I In my mind, everyone can everyone can have the race of their life and be up there. But I did know that Christelle was going to be super strong. We raced together a lot this year, and last weekend we raced provincial championships together, and I, I, I knew she was strong. So yeah, of course I was I was prepared for a battle with her, and it happened, and uh, she got the best of me, and I'm bummed out, but it, it's life, it's, it's all good. Now, I mean, there's still the rest of the World Cup cross season and the World Championships. Are, are you going to be continuing uh, racing through the rest of the season? Definitely, and I would say that um, the race today is, uh, it kind of motivates me even more for the rest of the season. I know what I have to do to get back on top, and uh, I'm very excited to be heading to uh, Continental Championships next week, and then a couple of World Cups until the World Championships. So, very excited for the race the rest of the season, very motivated, and uh, I'm looking forward to give it all I've got. <laughs> okay, well, congratulations on your silver medal. Thank you very much, Rob. I appreciate it.